Better tell you the truth, it's not the magic that make a dream come true and makes you achieve. But it's your hard work and your persistence. That's the way you will succeed. Dream the big goal, get up and do the road. But it's a long way to go, ho. Oh, Biden will help you walk the extra mile. If you don't have enough energy when you find yourself lost in weary, don't worry. Biden will boost you up with goodness. If your stomach is empty, eat up, come on, eat up, come on. We wanna see you happy. Let this be a drill. Let this be a shit. Let us be a friend. Let us be a friend. This advert is FDA approved. It's incredible! Bang on target! What on one, Anna? Ma, Annie. Trenum, Nayan, and Naka forty five. Hey, Jamaso, a banner won't tidy and who could jing come a come, my dear. Uyonko Bako Penono, yeah, that Jama washing powder full for crown ready. A bill shopper, a bay woman. FD, I did a reading crack to Yatumu. Hope, hope for the community. Hope for Ghana, our beloved country. Hope for Africa and hope for the world. With four years of training through seating for lectures and getting the grades, you will develop competence and big hearts to save lives. Our BS in Nursing program is uniquely designed with conviction, character, compassion, creativity, and community with a keen focus on information technology and entrepreneurship to equip you bring hope to clients. We are Heritage Christian College. Our nursing program is accredited by Ghana Tertiary Education Commission and Nursing and Midwifery Council of Ghana. We are recruiting now. Heritage Christian College, a university educating compassionate entrepreneurial leaders. Virtual Security Africa is your number one provider of a complete integrated electronic security solutions and services in Ghana and Africa. Trust me, from CCTV surveillance, access control systems, intruder and panic alarms, fire alarm systems, physical security and inspection systems such as x-ray scanners, vehicle boom barriers, road blockers, etc. And they even have public address and intercom systems and many other facilities for your home's offices and even large enterprises. VSA offers a lifetime after sales support. Call VSA today on 0558-740-764 or visit their showroom at Nana Adepa Plaza, Jolu, opposite the UBA or visit their website at www.virtualsecurityafrica.com. Virtual Security Africa, complete security solutions. Do you know that unforeseen medical emergency can drain your savings in the tough times? And as medical expenses increase by the day, why not pass that on to us at Ace Medical Insurance? Simply get a health insurance plan from Ace and enjoy a whole year of not worrying about hikes in medical expenses. Ace Medical Insurance, the new face of healthcare financing in Ghana. From the days of Kwame Nkrumah's relentless fight for freedom, Ghana's journey has been nothing short of remarkable. It's a land where resilience and hope run deep. Through the years, Ghanaian leaders have risen with bold initiatives, becoming a beacon of hope for Africa and its citizens. It's a story of nation building, from the ashes of colonialism to the soaring heights of sovereignty. Fear has given way to optimism. Ghana has not only become an example to its neighbors, but a symbol of peace growth, independence, and innovation. And now, we script a new era, a modern era of convenience and innovation. Introducing Chopbox, a future filled with job opportunities for our youth and credit facilities to provide a brighter future for all. Imagine stress-free shopping, where there are no more long drives, no more market hustle. A company that places its customers above all else 
fighting tirelessly to make their lives easier, where credit opens doors previously locked, and where convenience is not just a luxury, but a way of life. This is the journey of Ghana, a journey marked by resilience and the relentless pursuit of progress. Chopbox is our new era change from the old to the new. Chopbox, a convenient service. Hello everyone, this is the 1-8th stage of the 2023 National Championship of the National Science and Maths Quiz. You are warmly welcome. This is the first contest at this stage, and in this contest we have Wesley Girls High School. <clears throat> Ganata Senior High School. And Archbishop Porter Girls Senior High School. Let's meet the contestants. Wesley Girls. Wesley Girls High School is represented by Nana Ejewa Ejechim, final year. Priscaja Dufi Yebwa, final year. Wesley Girls High School, how has the journey in the competition been so far? So we came from regional qualifiers to prelims and now we are here. God has seen us through up till this point and we know you keep on seeing us through. Okay, best wishes to you. And we have Ganata Senior High School. They are our seeded school. They are represented by... Dauda Richmond. That uh, Douglas. Ganata Senior High School. How have, been, how have the preparations been towards the national championship? We've had several trial contests, preparing ourselves to maintain our seat and to cross the line. Okay, best wishes to you as well. And then finally, we have the ladies from Archbishop Porter Girls Senior High School. And they are... Irama Intia Mwadeku. Echama Lina Boachi. Archbishop Porter Girls, tell us about your journey to the 1 8 stage. How has it been? So, our journey has been a bit rough because we had at the prelims, we were against Obi Yeboa and Samo Otu. And by the grace of God, we were second. And fortunately for us, we had a tie with St. Monica's and we were able to break that tie. We won it. And now, by the grace of God, we are here. Best wishes to you as well. The National Science and Maths Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with Gold PLC and supported by Joy News, AT, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Pepsodent Toothpaste, Better Mold, Ghanaian Academic and Research Network, Coronation Insurance, Accra College of Medicine, Academic City University College, Cowbell, Bell Beverages, GTP, Newmont, Ghana, Africa World Airlines, and YFM. My name is Dr. Thelma J, a senior lecturer at the School of Pharmacy, University of Ghana, Lagon, and I'm your quiz mistress. This is a primetime production. to our competing schools. We have this first contest in five rounds. In round one, which is where we'll begin, I would ask you questions that would test your knowledge of concepts that you have studied in physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology. If 
a question comes to your school as a main question, you have 30 seconds to give an answer if there are calculations. If there are no calculations, I'll take your answer in one attempt in 10 seconds. If you give a correct answer, you'll be awarded three points. If your answer is incorrect, there's no penalty. You forfeit that question for another school to ring their bell for. The first school to ring their bell, after I have ruled on the question or after the main school has been bailed out, gets to answer the bonus question. And if they give a correct answer, they earn one point. However, if that answer is incorrect to the bonus question, then there's a penalty point of one. In this round, I'll begin with Wesley Girls High School. Wesley Girls, find the magnitude of the average net force on a 15 kilogram object whose speed increases from zero to 14 meters per second in 5.0 seconds. Forty two Newton. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Ganata. Find the magnitude of the average net force that stops a sixteen kilogram object moving at twelve meters per second in four point zero seconds. Yes, Douglas. 48 Newton. Yes, that is correct. Archbishop Porter, find the magnitude of the average net force on a 12 kilogram object moving along a straight line whose speed increases from 2.5 meters per second to 10.5 meters per second in 4.0 seconds. Yes. 24 newtons. That is also correct. <laughs> A preamble to all the schools. Bond length is generally defined as the average distance between the nuclei of two bonded atoms in a molecule. I'll take that again. Bond length is generally defined as the average distance between the two nuclei, between the nuclei of two bonded atoms in a molecule. This is the question. Arrange the given bonds in increasing order of bond length. Wesley Girls, C triple bond C, N triple bond N, C triple bond N. Yes, Manejewa. N triple bond N. C triple bond N. C triple bond C. That's correct. <laughs> Ganata. C C. C L C L. O O. So single bonds in there. C single bond C. C L single bond C L. O single bond O. Yes, Douglas. CL single bond CL, O single bond O, and C single bond C. That's not correct. A bonus to Archbishop Porter. O single bond, O O bond, CL CL bond, and C C bond. No, that's not correct either. <laughs> so it's. O O C C C L C L. Okay. Archbishop Porter. C no, sorry, I'll take that again. C double bond O. S double bond S. And then C double bond C. Yes. C double bond O. S double bond S. And C double bond C. That's not correct. 
Yes, a bonus to Wesley girls. C double bond O, C double bond C, and S double bond S. That is correct. A preamble. With respect to the histogen theory, H I S T O G E N, with respect to the histogen theory, state the meristematic zone. This is actually a preamble, okay? So I'll start again. With respect to the histogen theory, state the meristematic zone in plants to which the following descriptions refer. Wesley Gills, it is the outermost layer and gives rise to the epidermis. Dermatogen. That is correct. <laughs> Ganata. It is present below the dermatogen. It gives rise to the cortex and endodermis. Yes. The pericycle. No. A bonus to Wesley Girls. The periblem. That is correct. <laughs> Archbishop Porter. It is the inner core that gives rise to vascular tissues and pith. Yes, Irama. The protoderm. No. The hold, on, hold on, hold on, I'll call you. Hold on. <laughs> yes, Wesley Girls. The pleroom. That is correct. So when you ring your bell, I call you, then you answer, okay? Mm -hmm. A preamble. Find a Cartesian equation in X and Y from the given set of equations. Find a Cartesian equation in X and Y from the given set of equations. Wesley Gills, X equals 2 sine T plus 3. Y equals 5 cos T minus 2. Yes, go ahead, Priska. Yes. X minus 3 in brackets squared over 4 plus a fraction with numerator y plus 2, that squared over 25 is equal to 1. That's correct. <laughs> Ganata, x equals 3 cos t minus 5, y equals 4 sine t plus 3. Yes, Douglas. So, x plus 5 in bracket squared, that's over 9, plus y minus 3, that expression squared, over 16 is equal to 1. Yes, that's correct. Archbishop Porter girls, x equals 6 sine t minus 2, y equals 2 cos t plus 4. Yes, Irama. X plus 2. This expression all squared all over 36 plus y minus 4. All squared all over 4 is equal to 1. That is correct. <laughs> Wesley Girls. Find the distance between a concave mirror of focal length 0 0.20 meters and the image of an object placed 0 0.15 meters from the mirror. Yes. 
0 0.60 meters. That's correct. <laughs> Ganata, find the distance between a concave mirror of focal length, 0 0.30 meters, and an object in front of it, at which a real image of the object is formed 0 0.75 meters from the mirror. Yes, Douglas. 0 0.90 meters. No. Yes, what's legal? 0 0.50 meters. That's correct. <laughs> Ask Bishop Porter, find the distance between a concave mirror of focal length 0 0.25 meters and the image of an object placed 0 0.12 meters from the mirror. Yes, Irama. 0 0.11 meters. No. A bonus. Okay, I have 0 0.23 meters. Wesley Girls, in a titration reaction, 40.0 cm cube of 0 0.10 mole per dm cube, NaOH, reacts with 60.0 cm cube of 0 0.20 mole per dm cube of HCl. Identify the reactant in excess and its concentration. The reactant in, in excess sorry, is HCl, and its concentration is 0 0.080 mole per dm cube. That's correct. <laughs> Ganata, identify the reactant in excess and its concentration when 90.0 cm cube of 0 0.20 mole per dm cube NaOH reacts with 30.0 cm cube of 0 0.50 mole per dm cube of HCl. Yes, Douglas. So, so NaOH is in excess, and the concentration is 0 0.18 molar. No, a bonus. Yes, Wesley Girls. NaOH is in excess, and it is in excess by 0 0.025 mole per dm cube. That's correct. Archbishop Porter, identify the reactant in excess and its concentration when 15.015.0 cm cube of 0 0.80 mole per dm cube NaOH reacts with 85.0 cm cube of 0 0.20 mole per dm cube of HCl.
Yes, the Rama. HCL is in SS, and it is in SS by 0 0.002 mole per dm cube. No. Yes, Wesley Girls. HCL is in excess, and it is in excess by 0 0.050 mole per dm cube. That's correct. <laughs> A preamble. Indicate the number, okay, I'll take that again. Indicate the numbers of atria and ventricles in the heart of the following groups of organisms. Is that clear? Okay. Wesley girls, fishes. Two atria and one ventricle. That's not correct. A bonus. I'll come back to the answers. Ganata, amphibians. Yes, Douglas. So, two atria and one ventricle. Yes, that's correct. Archbishop Porter, beds, beds. Yes, Irama. So, beds have two atria and two ventricles. Yes, that's correct. So, Wesley Girls, fishes have one atrium and one ventricle. Our last set of questions for this round. Find the quadratic equation with roots. Find the quadratic equation with roots. Wesley Girls, root three, plus or minus two. Yes. X squared minus 2 root 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. That's correct. <laughs> Ganata, minus root 7 plus or minus root 3. Yes, go ahead. X squared plus bracket of 2 root 7 X bracket of 2 root 7 X minus 10 is equal to 0. No. Yes, a bonus to Wesley girls. X squared plus 2 root 7 X plus 4 is equal to 0. No. Archbishop Porter. Root 5 plus or minus 1. Yes, Irama. X square minus 2 root 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. That's correct. And that brings us to the end of round 1.
Yes, that's true. It can store a lot of water. That's so true. Wow, it has a working surface on it. Mm -hmm. That's so true. I can see F I N mm -hmm. T E X mm -hmm. Fintech. That is so true, my daughter. Well, it falls down into spoiler. That's not true. But why? Whoa! Hey. <laughs> Syntex was the first to introduce double layer tanks in Ghana. Syntex again was the first to introduce white inner layers in Ghana. Syntex gives you the biggest warranty seven years. No matter your water needs, Syntex is the answer. Syntex tank. Are you strong? Are you tough? This is a house that I have built and I have not even moved into. The roofing that was installed less than a year ago has already faded. I recommended DBS Industries to you, but you said that already has your nephew to take care of it. DBS Industries has introduced a new roofing system known as Colorlink Plus. So you mean all these beautifully roofed houses were done by DBS Industries? Let's go to DBS Industries. My brother, I understand DBS Industries has installed roofing system that does not fade after installation. Sir, it's true. It's Colorlink Plus. It is a special roofing system that DBS has imported from Europe. When installed, it does not fade. And due to the faith we have in them, we give our clients a 20-year warranty. 20 years warranty? Look, my house was roofed by a certain company. The sheets have completely faded. If DBS has this unique roofing system, then please uninstall the old one. If it means spending twice on a durable material, it's it's worth it. It also leaves your room very cool. Excellent. <laughs> Be that business owner that stands out and is very productive. You're so confident. How do you do it? It starts with build. Where does your confidence come from? Paperwork made simple. Built takes all the hustle away. <laughs> Yeah, don't be like her. Built is your only one simplified finance platform. It's your home for invoices, payments, your payroll, and so much more. Oh, wow. <laughs> Grow your business today. Sign up now at built.africa. Download the Built app now. Our world is a complex one, and in it, only the smart and intelligent win. At Bright Senior High School, we know this. That's why, with our state-of-the-art science laboratory, customized textbooks, and curriculum-based workbooks, we continue to make history every year. For more than a decade, Bright Senior High School has choked stellar performances at the WASI, guided by smart and professional graduate teachers. At Bright Senior High School, every student is a priority. This school has groomed me for the future. I wasn't a good student when I came here, but now I'm listed as one of the best students in this school. Admission is in progress. Call now on 0242 071 185 or 0277 147 727 or visit brightshs.com.gh. Bright Senior High School. Building dreams, shaping the future and 9001 certified facility as well as the CIMG best private health facility of the year 2022 provides high quality specialist and general healthcare solutions rendered by professionals in the industry using ultra modern facilities and technology services offered include skin pediatric ENT urology dental eye obstetrics and gynecology theater services <laughs> Eat up, come on, eat up, come on. We wanna see you happy. Let this be a deal. Let us be a shit. Fight a milk, 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 fight a milk. Let us be a friend. This advert is FDA approved. It's incredible! Bang on target! Okay, so before I go to the scores for round one, there are some protests here I'd like to address. So there's a protest from Wesley Girls about that last math question they took, the question.
quadratic equation. So I worked it out as well, and the answer to the bonus question was correct. <laughs> also, and I would like to say this before I um, address this. So sometimes when we have the questions, like I've said before, we moderate it with the consultant. Sometimes they leave us the partial mark at our discretion. That give it at your discretion, what you give one, what you give two. And at other times, they are insistent. They say that if they say this, give partial mark. If they don't say this, don't give partial mark. So for the biology, and I have it on my script here, for the biology about the um, number of atria and ventricles, I was to give partial mark of two, if they gave one correct answer. So when Wesley Gell said that, I just went on and said incorrect, but they should actually have two marks, because they got the one ventricle correct. For the chemistry calculations, also the instructions I have is all or none. You get it correct or it's, it's none. So Archbishop Porter is appealing for partial mark for saying HCL but not getting the concentration correct. But I've spoken to the consultant and he says I shouldn't accept that. So I cannot accept it. That brings the scores at the end of round one to Ganata Senior High School, nine points. Archbishop Porter Girl Senior High School, 11 points. <laughs> Wesley Girls High School, 30 points. Before, before we go on to round two, Wesley Girls High School would like Zakia Awudu to come on for Frisca Yeboah. Zakia, change your name. <laughs> Round two. This is the Pepsodent Speed Race. In this in this race, or in this round, each question is open to all the schools at the same time. If you have an answer, you ring your bell. If it's, you give me the first correct answer, you get three points. Second correct answer, two points. The third correct answer is worth one point. At any time, if your answer is incorrect, there's a penalty point of one. When you ring the bell, you have three seconds to start giving your answer quickly, promptly. If you don't do that and you delay, if another school has rang their bell, I'll go on to them if I hear a bell from the um, desk that you are three seconds has passed and you haven't started giving your answer, okay? This Pepsodent Speed Race is sponsored by Pepsodent Toothpaste. Every smile matters. Do uh, you have an answer? <laughs> you are testing the bell. Okay, Ganata, please test your bell as well. Archbishop Porter, test your bell. Okay, so all the bells are working. We can start. Our first question. How many molecules are present in 1.8 grams of butane? One point five by ten to the power twenty two molecules. Okay. Two hundred point zero CM cube of zero point eight two mole per DM cube solution of HCL is diluted to one point zero zero DM cube. And twenty point zero CM cube of the resulting solution is further diluted to eighty point zero CM cube. What is the final? Zero point zero four 
one more per diem cube. That's correct. What mass is present in one mole of sodium methanoate? What mass is present in one mole of sodium methanoate? What's the deal? 68 grams. No, that's not correct. Who else has rang their bell? Yeah, Ganata. 82 grams. Yes, it's 82 grams. <laughs> what name is given to the reversal of etiolation effect by light? E-T-I-O-L-A-T-I-O-N. What name is given to the reversal of this effect by light? Photomorphogenesis. What is the actual genetic section of sperm cell? What is the actual genetic section of the sperm cell? Ah! What are the sections of the sperm cell? The head and the tail. And where is the genetic section? You don't know. Hey, biology teachers, it's the head. <laughs> what name is given to species very near to extinction if conservation... What's legal? Endangered species. That is correct. the coordinates of the stationary points of the curve y equals x cubed minus 6x squared plus 9x. A point with x coordinates 0 and y coordinates 0 and another point with x coordinates 4 and y coordinates Somebody else rang their bell. Okay. Yes, Archbishop Porter. We have co one coordinate, three and negative fifty-four, and the other coordinate one and negative two. No. Okay, so the points are 1,4 and then 3,0. A and B are events in a sample space S such that P of A equals 0 0.8 and P of B equals 0 0.7 and P of A intersect B equals 0 0.6. 0 0.9. That's correct. But like I said, when you ring the bell, let me call you, because I have to determine which school rang the bell first, okay? Relax. Two points, A and B, have position vectors, RA equals 3i minus 4j, and RB equals 6i plus 5j, relative to an origin O. Find the position vector of B, relative to A. Yes, Ganata. 3i plus 9g. That is correct. Find, find the depth of water in a leaking large tank, which ejects water from a small hole near the bottom of the tank at a speed of 7.0 meters per second. Two 
2.5 meters. That's the reactants of a 5.0 microfarad capacitor at a frequency of 7.0 kilohertz. Yes, Ganata. 29 ohms. No, that's not correct. It's 4.5 ohms. 4.5 ohms. Our last question for this round. A constant 50 Newton net force acts on a 2 kilogram object that is initially at rest. Find the kinetic energy of the object. At the instant, the impulse of the net force equals 2 newton seconds. Yes, Wesley Gills. One joule. That's correct. 
that brings us to the end of round two. At the end of the second round, here are the scores. Archbishop Porter Girls Senior High School, 10 points. <laughs> Ganata Senior High School, 13 points. <laughs> Wesley Girls High School, 43 points. Round three. Round three is the round of the problem of the day. And here, a common question is presented to all the schools at the same time. They are given four minutes to provide a solution on the screen. At the end of the four minutes, a, goal, a bell will go off, indicating that they should stop work and take their seat. When the bell goes off, stop work and sit down, okay? After that, I'll come to the screen, evaluate the solutions that have been provided. I would award marks, and when I return to my seat, I would explain the marks as well as the, cons the solution from the consultant. At stake in this round is the Prudential Life Insurance NSMQ star, and this star will be awarded to the school that earns a perfect score of 10 for the problem of the day. At this 1-8 stage, it is worth 2,400 Ghana cities to the team. Okay, so you can take your sheets now and we'll read the problem of the day together. So put your pens down, no writing while we read. Okay. The problem of the day. Solve for X and Y from the equations. Y equals 2 plus log to the base 4 of X and X to the power Y equals 4 to the power 8. Start work.
Stopwatch. Okay. For this problem of the day from mathematics, they were to solve for x and y from equations y equals 2 plus log to the base 4 of x and x to the power y equals 4 to the power 8. Okay. So that, this is the solution. So x, y, we know x, y equals 4 to the power 8. Okay. 
And that will mean that y log to the power 4 of base x equals 8. Okay. So the expression 2 plus log to the base 4x multiplying the expression log to the base 4x equals 8. That means log to the base 4x to the power 2 or squared plus 2 log to the base 4 of x minus 8 equals 0. So you make log 4 to the log log to the base 4 of x, any um, letter you want, let's say u. That would mean that u squared plus 2u minus 8 equals 0. u plus 4 multiplying u minus 2 is equal to 0 if you um, factorize. And so u will be equal to 2 or negative 4. And so then you go back to where you substituted u for log to the base 4 of x. So then log to the base 4 of x equals 2. That is x equals 4 squared, which is 16. Then you can solve for y, yeah, to be 4. There's also u that was negative 4. So log to the base 4 of x equals minus 4. That would mean that x equals 4 to the power negative 4, or 1 over 4 to the power 4, which is 1 over 256. 2 plus log to the base 4 of x is then equal to 2 minus 4, which is equal to minus 2. That is for y. So you ha here you have x to be 1 over 2, 5, 6, and y to be minus 2. If you went through step by step this way, writing out the um, equations, solving them simultaneously, you'd have come to these four answers, and I'll, you'd have got 10 marks for that. Okay, so the solutions from the school. Wesley girls. I, I don't think they, they, they caught on to what they were supposed to do. So they went back and forth, canceled some of their work. They just wrote out the equation, started to solve them. Nothing happened after that. They have one out of 10. <laughs> Ganata. Yeah. They also wrote out the equations. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure what they went going on to. So they would also have one out of 10. Archbishop Porter girls, Archbishop Porter girls, they were going through step by step, and they got to a point where they could have even calculated x from there. But I'm not sure why they left that point and moved on to um, another answer. So although they couldn't come to all the four answers, at some stage in their work, if they had calculated from there, they would have got the first answer where x equals 16, and probably would have helped them to progress from there. So although they couldn't come to the right answer of 16. They had the formula there that showed that if you solve, you could get to 16. So I would give them five out of 10. Yeah. And that is the end of round three. Before we go on to round four, some substitutions. Ganata Senior High School would like Emanuela to come on for Richmond. And Archbishop Porter Girls would like Abigail to come on for Irama. Round four, this is a true or false round. Each statement that is read out to your school, I expect an answer of true or false, depending on your assessment of that statement. If you give a correct answer, you have two points. If your answer is incorrect, there's a penalty point of one. If you are bailed out or you decline to answer, another school can answer your question for the same points. Two if they are correct, and a penalty point of one if the answer is incorrect. In this round, I'll start with Ganata Senior High School. Ganata, root of nine 
equals plus or minus 3. True. Into the microphone. True. No, it's false. Ask Bishop Porter. The cube root of negative 27 equals negative 3. True. Yes, that is true. <laughs> Wesley Gills, the fourth root of 16 equals plus or minus 2. False. Yes, it's false. A preamble. An object moves a quarter turn around the circle of radius one meter. An object moves a quarter turn around a circle of radius one meter. Ganata. The object did not undergo a displacement because it moved around a circle instead of along a straight line. Yes, Douglas. False. Yes, it's false. Archbishop Porter. The magnitude of the displacement of the object is one quarter the circumference of the circle. False. Yes, it's false. Wesley Gills. The displacement of the object cannot be specified because its direction of motion cannot be given uniquely. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Ganata, the first ionization energy of alkali earth metals increases with atomic number. Yes, Douglas. False. Yes, it's false. Archbishop Porter, the first ionization energy of alkali metals always decreases with the size of the atom. Mm. Mm -hmm. True. Yes, that is true. <laughs> Wesley Gills. For a given period, the first ionization energy of an alkali earth metal is always greater than that of an alkali metal. True. Yes, that is true. <laughs> Ganata. When comparing, this, this is a preamble to all the schools. When comparing mammals with birds, the possession of four appendages is, when comparing mammals with birds, the possession of four appendages is, Ganata, an example of analogy rather than homology. Yes. True. No, it's false. Archbishop Porter, a character used to sort bird species. True. No, it's false. Wesley Gills, a shared derived character. True. No, it's false. It's an ancestral character. Ganata. A square is a rhombus. It's false. No, it's true. Archbishop Porter, a rectangle is a square. False. Yes, it's false. Wesley Gills, a trapezium is a parallelogram. False. Yes, that is false. Ganata, ammonia can be collected over water 
by the downward displacement of water. False. Yes, it's false. Ask Bishop Porter. Hydrogen chloride can be collected over water by upward displacement of water. True. No, it's false. Wesley Girls, sulfur dioxide can be collected over water by upward displacement of water. False. Yes, that is false. <laughs> Ganata, the moment of a force is a vector quantity. Yes, Douglas. False. No, it's true. Archbishop Porter, the direction of the moment of a force is the same as the direction of the force. False. Yes, that is false. Wesley Gill. The magnitude of the moment of a force equals the product of the magnitude of the force and the distance between its point of application and the point about which the moment is taken. Yes. True. No, it's false. Our last set of questions for this round. A preamble. In phylogenetics, in phylogenetics, P-H-Y-L-O, genetics. Ganata, branches are the lines in a tree. True. No, it's false. Archbishop Porter, tips of the branches have long lost sequences or species. True. Yes, it's true. Wesley Gills. A node indicates the inferred ancestor of extant taxa. True. No, it's false. That brings us to the end of round four. At the end of the fourth round, here are the scores. Ganata Senior High School, 15 points. Archbishop Porter Girls Senior High School, 25 points. Wesley Girls High School, 51 points. Round five. 
In this final round of the contest, you would have four different riddles. I'll present to you clues of the different riddles, and I want you to solve for them with those clues. At any time, if you have an answer, ring your bell. I'll stop and allow you to give your answer. If you give me a correct answer on the first clue, five points. A correct answer on the second clue, four points. After that, any correct answer is worth three points. If your answer is incorrect, you stay out of that particular riddle and come back for the next one. In this round, we have the goal riddle bonanza, and this will reward a school that solves three or four riddles correctly. At this one eight stage, if you score three riddles correctly, 1,200 Ghana CDs for your team, and if you score four riddles, you get 1,600 CDs for your team. The Girl Riddle Bonanza is proudly sponsored by Girl Good Energy. Okay, so our first riddle. I am a physical quantity. I am a scalar quantity. I obey a conservation law. Yet I may undergo transformation. Wesley Gills. Kinetic energy. No. Yet, I may undergo transformation from one form into another. I arise, Ganata. Yes. Energy. Yes, it's energy. I am an organic compound containing carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. I have a pleasant smell similar to freshly cut grass. I am made up of six carbon atoms. I respond positively to tolerance reagent. I am a straight chain aldehyde. Who am I? Hexanol. Yes, it's hexanol. I am a rate of change. I am, of course, a derivative. I am a rate of change of a vector quantity for a moving particle. Okay, Archbishop Porter. Acceleration. No. For a moving particle, I vary as linear momentum. Wesley Gill. Force. No. For the benefit of Ganata, I involve displacement. Acceleration is derived from me. Who am I? Yes, Ganata. Velocity. Yes, it's velocity. <laughs> Our last riddle. I am an invertebrate. I am a hermaphrodite that lives in the soil. 